centuries before the coming of Christ. The sages in India wrote and sang. Asadoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jodirgamaya Mrityoma Amradam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Om Lead me from the unreal to the real. Lead me from darkness to light. Lead me from more death to immortality. Let there be peace, peace and peacefulness. The Sans Sanskrit word sad has many other meanings. Existence, reality, truth. So the prayer or the mantra is to lead us from non-existence to existence, from non-reality to reality and from untruth to truth. Lead me from darkness to light. When the Vedas refer to darkness, they also mean ignorance. When they refer to the light, it also means knowledge. Lead me from death to immortality also implies lead me to the understanding that my life is not limited but my life is eternal. In today's gospel Jesus tells us I am the way, the truth and the life. In fact, Jesus took three of the great basic concepts of Jewish religion and made the unique claim that in him all the three found their full realization. This means that he alone is the surest way to God. He alone can authoritatively and flawlessly teach us truth about God and he alone can give God's life to us. John's central message is that Jesus is both the revealer and the revelation of God. If we wish to know God who, who he is, what God thinks and what God wants of us, we must be attentive to Jesus, the Word of God. The author of the book of Imitation of Christ explains Jesus' statement, I am the way, the truth and the life. He explains it thus, without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. And without the life, there is no living. In Psalm 86, we pray, Teach me the way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. For us to live in the truth is to be fully alive, to be fully functioning person, responding totally to that abundance 
of life which Jesus gives to us. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles gives us the picture of the early church and its growth. We witness on the one hand a rapid spread of, of the church, people who believe in Christ. On the other hand, we also witness human weaknesses in the form of dissensions among them. The dissension became a threat for the unity of the church and how they and how they chose deacons to get away with the dissension and how they realized that the primary goal of the church is to minister to the word of God. From the gospel, we draw many lessons for our Christian living. It is a very uncertain world that we are living in. We stand at the crossroads of life, not knowing which way to take. In the midst of this uncertainty, Jesus declares, I am the way. When Jesus becomes our way, he leads us to the Heavenly Father. Our life on earth is a pilgrimage. We are on the way, the way that leads to the Father. The sense of our existence consists in moving all the time towards the Father. Jesus reveals to us that our life has a supernatural dimension. We cannot reduce it to something worldly and passing. We cannot afford to get lost in the currents of this world. Whatever we do, we must always be conscious of not losing sight of our goal. Our goal is to reach God to the Father's house. If our striving on this earth is only to make our life here more and more comfortable, we have lost our way. Today, Jesus is asking us, Have I been with you all this time? in the Mass, in the sacraments, and in the Word of God, in the Bible, and you still do not know me. What is our answer?